guys, so do you know something about volcanoes? A little bit? Do you remember? What, what do you know? Do you remember the difference between magma and lava? Uh, a little bit? Don't worry, we'll check that in here. So what we will do is some volcanic explosion, you know? So for a volcanic explosion, we will need so a little bit of this. So the volcano is getting ready. Right here, we will keep going. Keep going. So, and this is this is the coolest volcano. You know, the magma that is going to come out is blue. You know? Okay, so now we get the secret. Are you ready for this? What is coming out from the volcano when it's called lava, but when it's still, when this fluid is still underground, it's called magma. You know, magma is when it's still hot. When it comes out of the volcano, it's called magma. You know, do you remember any really famous place maybe you've seen on TV or in books or maybe traveling that you get magma flowing on the ground? Maybe Hawaii? You see? I have been there. Yeah? Oh. So this, this cone, this kind of volcano is called the Strato Volcano. The most famous one all around the world is called Mount Fuji, it's in Japan. What happens is in every eruption, you build out a new layer, so it keeps building up, forming this cone. So out of the magma, that comes out and becomes lava, you form a lot of different rocks, as you can see in here. So this one really smooth, for example, is called obsidian, this is a mineral, and this is called also volcanic glass. It could be really sharp, not this one. <laughs> it could be really sharp, so the native use this to cut skin or meat. So yeah, you can try it. This is also called granite. You know, but the granite forms out of magma when it's still underground, you see? And I will show you this one, which is called pumice. What happens is this form outside, on the ground. So what happens is the magma cools down really fast outside, that it gets bubbles, air bubbles trapped, and it's so light. You want to you wanna compare how heavy they are? So light, yeah. Yeah, this is a granite too. Yeah, what happens is the magma goes out and cools down so fast you know, that it trapped that it trapped air bubbles. You know? So this is another granite, more volcanic glass. You know? And sometimes in a volcanic eruption, you can you can have volcanic ash, really thin. You see, it's so soft. So it goes, it's like pounding, you know? It goes up in the air and travels, it can travel all around the world, you know? So this, this is particularly from Mount St. Helens in Washington State, south of the United States. In an eruption in 1980, it was a big blast, a huge volcanic eruption. So you get ashes and they traveled all around the world. 